these buildings here. Old colonial um, pipe making facility. Gonna, I don't know if we're allowed to, I'm just gonna kind of sneak in here. Just kind of sneak in, ooh. What do we got here? It's probably not allowed to do this, but. It's kind of falling apart already, the gutter. The old door. <laughs> It's all overgrown. Old shed. Look at it. It's just falling apart. It's a shame, you know? It's a real good example of uh, an old, probably 19th century factory, pipe making factory. Kind of falls into this state. Look at this. It's probably not supposed to be here. It's cool. I don't think you can get inside. It's boarded up. Gives that feeling where it hasn't been bothered by humans for a while. Exactly. Which is all the more reason why I'd like to get in there. <laughs> but no. It's very interesting. Been graffiti. Detective Oz, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like sneak in. It's cool. I wonder what's in there. You know? Like it once was a storehouse, but now it's just kind of just left to ruin, you know? Yeah. Walk up the steps, and you just met with this huge door. Still says Humes on it. It's no crack. You can kind of see in there. I don't know if you could see in there, but it's like everything's kind of just falling apart. I think the roof has collapsed inside. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I could kind of just see inside one of the holes and it was all just like beams, wooden beams and, and things lying all over the floor. So I think maybe the support structures inside have collapsed. It's, good. it's nice to explore this place before it gets demolished.
currently being used for something. I don't want to disturb him. It's like some sort of art gallery or something. Doing something in there. I'm not sure what. It's cool. Yeah, this building was restored. Internal restoration of walls and floors carried out by Melbourne's Living Museum of the West. 1995. It's cool. I don't know what they're doing in there, but it's interesting. I'm going to go in and check it out. It's incredible. Look how overgrown it all is. See that, that blue stone building over here? So there's a path once. That looks like a furnace. I wonder if I can get over to it. Tons of spiders and everything in here. Old furnace. That's cool. Look how overgrown it is. Incredible. All kind of falling apart. Hey, doing sky riding up there. Uh, I think it's a Good Friday message. You got the cross equals. I think they're drawing a heart. Like cross equals love. Uh, <laughs> hey, Moisty, how you doing? I've been exploring this abandoned, um, this ruined, I guess, uh, pipe making factory, pipe making slash ammo ammunition factory, World War One and Two, up till about 1990. We're just exploring, just a bit of bushwhacking and everything. Oh. See the old furnace in there and the. An old furnace overgrown. Wonder what they used it for. This is actually really interesting. Wow. Wow, that's cool. Pick us up a Lewis machine gun. Yeah, because they're all they're just lying around here. Look, here's one. <laughs> Probably, you know, things buried underground here. Really interesting. 
it's all overgrown. It was all cleared. It's got like that furnace there, and this, you can see some stone things at the back there between the bushes. They do. I think they're doing like an art, an art gallery, an art exhibit in there. I'm not sure exactly. Yeah. Melbourne Meat Preserving Company, Boiling Down Department, 1868 to 1888. Fitters and Turners Workshop, 1911 to 1979. There's a meat processing plant as well as a fitters and turners workshop. It's a cool building. See, they're doing something in there. I don't know what they're doing. It's cool, eh? I should go ask. Should I go ask what they're doing? Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on in there. I don't think they wanted filming in there. I went in and they're like, I don't think it was a friendly wave. <laughs> Threatened. <laughs> Just walk up, shove the camera in their face. <laughs> What's going on in here? Oh, look. Is that, is that my boy? Is that the uh, old Japanese flag? on the wall. I don't know why, that's interesting. I'm not sure why that's the uh, logo for this. Melbourne's Living Museum of the West. Yeah. Japanese. <laughs> yeah, Japan. Represent. Pipe. It was Hume pipe. I don't know if you can see. Hume pipe. Probably. That was written on the door of the first building that I walked up. Like the paint was scratched off and you could just see like the H. But it was that. That's what was written there. That's cool. And there's this big ass pipe. Ooh, it's a portal. Japan, Osaka, and Kyoto trip this time. Yeah, absolutely. Got to go back. Yeah. Let's go down here. There's a car park. I don't want to go to the car park. Look and find remnants of the Hume Pipe Company's eight-foot pipe factory. So it was a pipe factory. Bottom factory. Foundations from concrete mixes, molding machines, chutes, tramways, other factory remnants. I need that melon soda feeling. Dude, oh, let's just go to Japan for like 10 years and just go everywhere. The old fa factory foundation. That's cool. A pipe. Melon palm with ice cream and crows. Dude, oh, don't remind me. Uh, 
I would actually kill for a melon bun and ice cream. I had ice cream just before, I bought some. But oh, with melon bun, I need that. I'm hooked. There should be tram tracks around here somewhere. I don't know where they are. It's like an archaeological dig site. I'm gonna find the tram tracks. Yes. I love watching them crows go after the people absolutely highlight. Especially when he warned them and then like they just did it anyway and he's just like gives us this look. He's like, yeah. <laughs> and we both go out and <laughs> That was great. Bloody idiots. <laughs> is this is this the tram track? This thing? I don't know. This is actually a really nice garden. Even got the like uh like Warund Aboriginal Wurundjeri section as well, I think. Very nice landscape. I'm not gonna go over there because that's a that's a children's park. And I'm not filming over there. <laughs> oh here it is. Here's the tram line. The old the old tramway. That's incredible. It's the old tramway here. It's beautiful. Incredible. I love looking at I love history. I love finding old ruins and stuff. Yeah. Let's go down here. It's just up there. The yeah, storage storage buildings for ammunition. You can't really see from here, but they got these really high uh, hills made of dirt, and those are the blast mounds. So if if there was an explosion in the storage shed, then it wouldn't completely obliterate the entire base. Like, it would just kind of be contained and forced upwards. Luckily, at this place, there were never any explosions, which is why it's all still intact. I think it was um, only decommissioned in the 1990s, I think. So it was in operation for maybe 100 years, maybe. I would have left if you said no. <laughs> That's it. Heck, we don't even need a bed. All of us on the floor, drop a blanket over us, call it a, call it a night. All this was part of the defense ammunition plants and weapons, weapons factories. Now we got some apartment blocks and uh, I guess just reclaimed wilderness. Yeah, 100 years. It's old. This was one of the biggest, I think it was the biggest um, defense, like ammunition weapons factory site in Australia for a bit. It was the one that the others were modelled off because it was one of the first built. I think it was built after, just after World War One, maybe 1917 or something, just during World War One. Loving this style of stream, brother. Want to see that? No, that's absolutely cool, man. Thanks for stopping by, Mike. Really, absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for everything. You have a good have a have a good day at work. Such a big area. It's a huge area. They would have had the train line, the tram lines running all the way here from that other place before. But we found the tram tracks. And even way back at the start, that area, that defense plant area that's still closed off, would have been uh, like tons of people there. It's all connected. It was all part of one big facility. Miss you, brother. Talk to you soon. See you around, Mikey. Have a good day. Some loading dock shed. I think it's closed. That's the component store. It's the main entrance. It's a huge, it is a massive complex. World War One, World War Two era stuff, nice history, yeah. This place was really important during World War, well especially World War Two, but even 
World War One for a bit. Yeah. Former explosive storage facility. Oh yeah, opened in 1878 to store gunpowder imported into the colony of Victoria. It was then part of the ammunitions manufacturer that once dominated this area before being decommissioned in the early 1990s. Yeah, so well over 100 years. First to store imported gunpowder because we didn't make any here and then we began to manufacture it. I think it was like cordite or something like that um, in Australia and they used this place for it. Yeah, Jack's Magazine, 1878. It's in there, but uh, obviously you can't get in. A little crack in the... Damn, it'd be cool to get in there. Maybe I can get an aerial shot if I walk up the hill. Fence is too high. Now let's walk up. Now it's apartments. Geez, oh, what secrets do you hold? I know, right? It's cool. I wonder if you can just walk up there. Kind of walk past the wall and get up to the top. Maybe you can peer and look over it. Get a mini spider and send it in. <laughs> maybe when, when we get bigger, as we grow, maybe I'll invest in a drone. That'd be cool. I want to buy a drone. It's a big hill. The wall is very high. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Got to grow the stream a bit, but. Yeah, I'd love to get a drone. We go to Japan next. 100%. I'd really love to take some drone footage, especially in Numazu. Oh. It's a big hill. I hope we get different weather next time, definitely. We're not going to go in June next time. We'll go when it's actually good weather. I reckon we should aim for like April. We've got the cherry blossoms. Pretty good weather. Whoa. It's quite a hike. God damn it. This stupid wall. I want to get over the wall. <laughs> those people, they'd have a good view from those apartments. Yes, yeah, Hakura season. Absolutely. Three D maneuver gear. <laughs> Good, I can probably climb the wall, but I don't want to be a, I don't want to be a bother. It is so hot. Big wall. Oh, good, you're doing well, yeah. So hot today. I hope you hydrate often. Thanks. Yeah, I brought water and I ate lunch before, so it's all good. Huh. 
Yeah, they got the best view in those apartments. Nearly reached the end of the wall. That's a, that's a long wall. There's the city. Okay. You see the city in the distance. Might not, might not really be able to see it off in the, off past that building. Yeah, it is nice. Look at the view. Very peaceful here. This would have all been part of um, the ammunition, weapons facilities and explosives facilities. Damn, I can't believe you can't see into there. But from here you can you can kind of see the earth mound that tall like piece of land goes up and on the other side is uh, one of the explosive sheds damn I can't believe you can't get in it's kind of like a viewing tower or something There's the city, off in the distance. They're probably scared you do something bad, yeah. I know, right? You'd think that the ground here would be contaminated or something, you know, if you have so much explosives and chemicals being used and everything, that some would leach into the, into the soil, but yeah, I don't know.